Hello everyone! So, today in this Area 47 video, I will be going over what it means to be a mobile task force and what you are supposed to do as, because it appears that a lot of people do not know what they're really doing here. So, it can be a little confusing because you click on the team and then it makes you select one of five teams so that might be a little bit confusing so let's just try to clear this up a little bit so it can be better for everyone involved i suppose okay so we're gonna start off with epson 11 or however you pronounce that i don't know i might butcher so you spawn in so you spawn in and this spawn point it's right into sector three. Oh, geez okay so yeah now's a good time to tell you what the job is so your job is to try to support with internal security so like try to recontain scps so you have your main ar you've got a little sidearm here you have a rest and you have a bag i don't really know what the bag does i have to say well, let's go give a demonstration of what we're supposed to be doing come on <laughs> Okay, so yeah, your job is to try to recontain the facilities. I did horribly. Haha. <laughs> yeah. That was, that's bad, but yeah. Help with recontainment. You have night vision to help you and whatnot. Psst. Before we continue, please consider subscribing because it would help out a lot. It would be greatly appreciated. Okay, next up we have the beta boys. <laughs> the beta boys, okay. Um, so, yep. Here, um, it is. You get another AR. You pretty much get the same stuff, but no night vision this time, as of operative. Your job as the Yellow Power Ranger <laughs> is to help recontain SCPs. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong one. But yes, you're supposed to recontain SCPs. So like, if this is going on, that is your job. You're supposed to stop this. Like, okay, you can stop it by just leading the SCP through its cell once it's chasing you and just open up its cage go in its cage it will chase you given enough time it will go in just like so many people seem so bad at that though see look at this look what this guy's doing he's walking it back to its cell so he's just gonna recontain it just like that okay next up we have the alphas um Yep, so these guys are pretty important, I would say. They are responsible for guarding and, like, reporting with Class A personnel. So that means, like, the Administrator 05 Council. So yeah, this is supposed to be the facility's best of the best. You get all the other stuff mentioned. But you do get an electric shield, which is good for trying to defend yourself against SCPs or just kind of defend yourself against really anything. It's a, it's a huge massive electric shield so you can just go like this SCPs and they can't really attack you yep okay so your job is to guard 05 council members and stuff like that so just make sure that they don't get killed uh, just just guard them from the like CI and whatnot. not that's what you're supposed to be doing okay here we have the Loda 10 so, these guys, I don't know, it's hard to know, like, you, you kinda just, I don't know, you kinda just bobble around, you can help with security, it, it doesn't really give a clear definition of what you are supposed to accomplish on this team. Roll. Alright, Sig Sigma here is responsible for dealing with the CI raids, so you, you are the ter- you are the people that are supposed to stop and protect against CI raids. You're also supposed to report if there is a Class D riot. So your job is to prevent other people from attacking the facility. See, if you see any CI, you just go Brah! And if there's Class D's riding, you run down there, and if they break through, then you go ah! So make sure that no personnel of the facility is harmed, which is going to be, uh, good. That's your job. 
So just, you know, it's actually kind of an important job. Okay, well, I think that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you learned something. I hope it's handy for someone. And thank you for watching. So good.